Hey, I just wanted to show the setup here. Um, this fan blade that's on this motor here is identical to this one. <clears throat> what I did is uh, I've got another motor. I bought two of these identical. Here's the old one with the motor out. And that's the AC motor. There's the coil for it here. And basically that's the AC motor that's powering this fan here. There you can see the coil there. And there's the coil that I'm using under there. And um, so basically this power bar is plugged in to this power bar. And then this AC fan is plugged into there, into this motor. And then this uh, meter, they're called kilowatt meters. This meter here is plugged into this variac, and the variac is going to that little box there, and all that's in there is just a, uh, a full wave bridge to make direct current. Goes to this capacitor, then goes into the motor. And uh, that's pretty well all it is. You can hear, and the motor's just timed by this reed switch, which turns this transistor on and off to uh, pulse the motor. And in the motor, there's magnets. These are ceramic grade eight, I believe, magnets. They're quarter inch thick, and there's four of them stacked together. All north fields facing out, north out, all four of them. And uh, <clears throat> that's all there is to the setup for the demonstration. So uh, just hang on, and we'll show you a little demo of this working. There's the two there. Okay, here I have two motors running, and the fan blade on that, I actually bought two of these fans, and I took one blade off and I put it on the motor that I made here. And what I've done is I've brought them up uh, to the same RPM or so. You can see there, 1747, 1733 RPM. And on this one, we have seventeen. Sorry, very hard to do. Seventeen twenty-eight. and 1735 or so. So same RPM. And what I'm doing is I'm running them both off of uh, AC. It's in the house power. And these are what they call kilowatt meters. So this motor here, same RPM, same mechanical work as this one. So, uh, about a third of the energy, basically. And uh, you can see here, it's, it's the voltage that's going in. What, what's happening is I'm using a variac. AC is going into there, and then it's going into a full weight bridge, into the capacitors, into the motor, and uh, this is giving me these motors running and again we'll just check the RPM Almost the same, 1740. So they're pretty well identical. One's using 
12, 13 watts, and it's using 33 watts. So, uh, almost 60%. Um, so that's just basically about all I wanted to show for now is that um, same mechanical work, just pushing the same amount of air. You can see there is air being being blown. Definitely air off that one, and definitely air off that. No doubt about it. And um, that's not all. If I turn the variac off, turn the power, shut it to zero power, the, the variac is still on here, as you can see the switch. The voltage and going to the motor now, that's what it's generating on its own as it spins down. So as it spins down, you can just stop it. So it's not using anything. That's just uh, residual left in the capacitor there. And uh, here we have, this is 2.7, 2.8, almost 3 watts. So the original 13 watts, you can take 3 off that. So we're doing about the same amount of mechanical work for about a third of the input um, energy, input electrical energy for three times the mechanical work. So that's all I wanted to show for now and um, let's see if we got a couple minutes here. I'll bring it up to speed again just to show you. All I do is let's get it going the right way. Bring up the voltage. About 18 or 19 volts. You see as it, as it, accel as it accelerates more power until it levels off the RPM, which is standard normal. Anything accelerating is going to be more power. So we go 13.5 RPM. I mean, uh, 36. RPM. The left one, 13.4 watts for this machine. And when we turn the Variac off, turn the power off, we're left with almost 3, three watts. So that 13 minus 3 is 10. So that's all I wanted to show for now. Till next time.